Hello, Mark the General with Turner here. Welcome to the workshop. Welcome to my Monday Night Live. My head is exploding. My entire broadcast software has thrown me out, thrown a fit, out of wobbly. So I can't use any of the broadcast uh, software that I normally use, OBS. So I'm having to do everything with manual camera switches tonight. So please, please bear with me because this bowl is going to be stressful enough as it is of my own doing. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, welcome along. I hope you're all right. I hope you're all having a fantastic bank holiday weekend. I'm going to have to keep disappearing off screen because I've got to bring my earworms in now. So bear with. Tonight, helping me out, I've got Terry from TJ Turning, Good evening. Wayne the Wood Turner, and Brian at Hartwood Turning. There he is. Yeah, see, at least one of us is happy. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be sorting out the chat tonight, keeping you guys going, um, keeping me on track with time and everything. And I'll throw them in the background and see if I can find the camera that I want to be able to show you what I'm going to do. I think it's that one. No. Might be that one. Yes. Right. So, what are we doing tonight? Well, the other last week, I threw out a challenge for anybody really who wanted to have a go Brian, Terry, Wayne, myself, and anybody else to do a thin walled bowl. Now, this is just a bit of fun. There's no real purpose to one of these bowls. It's literally just uh, showing off and uh, look what I can do kind of thing. All right, so that's all it is. Straight out, of, straight off the bat, I'll be completely honest. This, this is a look at me, look what I can do. Now, I'm fully expecting this bowl to explode at some point tonight because Wayne, being the master that he is, he's already done his. And he got his to 0.8 of a millimeter. So, being the competitive soul that I am, I've got to try and beat him, haven't I? Or at least equal him. Wayne's been doing it uh, 30 odd years, and I've been doing it too. So, you can guess what's going to happen at some point. So, during, during that, I will be wearing my face shield, and I'm going to be putting it on in a minute when I've got this bowl black mounted. This is a piece of apple. It's been in a bucket for a week. It was a green piece of wood anyway, but I trimmed it up, cut it last week. It's been in a bucket, and this afternoon, it's been wrapped in a wet cloth just to keep it moist. Don't we all love the word moist? Lovely word. So I'm just going to mount it between centers. Put a bit of shape on the outside and form a tenon. And then we'll get going and I'll show you how I'm how I'm gonna try and do my thin bowl. I'm gonna do it slightly different than Wayne did. Much much to his amusement when I told him how I was gonna do it. <laughs> so when you guys are ready. You could tell him, tell everybody, tell me who's in the chat, please. <laughs> Diddly is going to do it. Then. Yeah, go ahead, Terry. You can work away there. Okay, so starting where I can start. Good evening to Douglas Mungham, Duncan the Curly Turner, Gerard the French Turner, Lawrence Begizia, Dave Oakley, Oatley, Oti, sorry, Steve Fleming. John S. Castings, Andy Linelli, Andy Best. I'm going down the list. Malcolm Douglas. And there we go. Robert Doman. Ruby Clare. And further down we go. Andy H. Returning. James Crawford. Peter Corican, Pete Twisted Trees, 
David Heath. Lots of them talking to each other at this moment. Terry Bartlett. Coming. Patrick Hanley. Steve Ellis. And Brian Yeah. 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 Joe Senior, Hi, Blair, Andrew, good Bobby to see Woodshed, you, Jennifer's Craft and Creations, Steve Hale, Paul Hoyton, and that. So, Woodworm Paul is so far my list. Are currently, that's my list at this moment in time. You currently have 66 watching. Good evening, everybody. Hope you enjoy Mark's show tonight. But so I do apologise. There's going to be um, the camera changes are going to be slow and laboured because he's got to walk three foot across the room. Well, I've got to walk three foot across the room. Then I've got to find what camera it is because they're not labelled. You'll be fine, Mark. We can put up with a little bit of Job for you there, around. Brian. Job for me. Labeler. Like, you want me Labeler to walk across Mark. there and lift with my label machine and get get them labeled for you? <laughs> <laughs> Might take me a minute. Uh, they're not labeled within um, StreamYard. Yeah, I know. I know. Seven so two there for... watching. Brilliant. Thank you, everybody. Really appreciate it. Charlie Taylor's just joined now, Charlie. Evening, Charlie. And Mark's going to attempt this evening to get the uh, bow down to 0.5 of a millimeter. <laughs> nope. No pressure at all. No, 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 no pressure, pressure on, any, no pressure now, on anybody else. <laughs> the eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed. Why is he cutting that ball the wrong way? Why is he going from the rim to the to the centre on the outside? Has anyone figured it out yet? Well, I already know. I, I I know the answer, but I'm not giving it away. Let's see, does everybody open the chat and tell us? <laughs> so, Wavy Woodshed says you you need a stream deck, Mark. <laughs> it's not the stream deck that's the problem. It's OBS that's the problem today. <laughs> the stream deck was working fine, but it... our touch portal even was working fine. Touch portal was working fine. It threw out all my audio. Before we went live, the guys couldn't hear me. So we've had a comment there. We hit Cornish, uh, Katie the Cornish made us said it's a push cut question mark. Douglas Murray yep. says wet wood. Well, it is, Richard, but no. Yeah. Uh, Richard from uh, RJK Spinning Wood says end green question mark. Yep, Yay. that's it. There's the answer. Uh, Good night, Richard. Right. Even though you asked the question, Ruby Claire came straight in. It says it's angry. Yep. I'd expect Ruby to go. <laughs> no, Barry Chitty says it's okay. Yeah. Don't feel bad to anyone who didn't know because I didn't know until I was told earlier. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to form a tenant now. Um, Brisbane Calipers. There they are. Uh, behind you. And Richard said, what did I win? A kind word, Richard, a kind word. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Well done, Richard. Round of applause. <coughs> and the Yorkshire gets said, angry. So cutting supported fibres. There you go. 
Lionel is just Lionel. Lionel, good evening. Hi, Lionel. <laughs> uh, Katie the Cornish maid says, my excuse is, I've only just come in, laughing out loud. <laughs> ben Jammin's in. I know, troublemakers in, Mark. You behave yourself tonight, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> no sudden shocks, Ben. Turning a, turn a thin bowl. Right. Uh, no making banging noises or. Yeah, no, there's sudden bangs. <laughs> right, I'm just going to uh, trim that little nub off with the saw. And, uh, John from New Jersey has just joined, saying hi, everyone. Hi, John. Good evening, John. Hi, everyone. So, Jared, the, the Jared the French Tunnel has had another milestone on his uh, Instagram. He's got 301 followers. Brilliant. Well done, Jared. Done. Yeah, I had one yesterday. I've got a thousand now. Well ah, done. excellent, man. Well done, Anthony, Wayne. Anthony Miles just joined. Good evening. Hi, Anthony. Hi, Anthony. Hi, Ben's, Sorry, just said, Ben's just said he's on his best behaviour tonight. Well, at least for the first half. <laughs> Does, ben, I'm not sure you understand what best behaviour means, to be honest. It's, it's the behaviour you need when you go to church, you know, that kind of behaviour. the tail stock to uh, push this into the jaws tighten the jaws up and then I'm actually going to wait about 15-20 seconds once I've got them tight so talk amongst yourselves just going to wait 10 or 15 seconds because it's wet wood very wet wood and it's green wood using a tenon if, when you compress the fibres if you wait 10 or 15 seconds, you probably there you go, get another quarter turn on each one. And periodically through the turning, if I remember, um, <coughs> we'll see. If I remember, um, I'll just make sure that the tenon's staying tight by just giving another little tweak up every now and then. So, for the hollowing out, you could use any size bulk out you want because the thinness for this bowl is going to come from the outside. So what I'll be doing is hollowing out, getting it to a rough, nice finished shape inside. Once I finish the inside, I'm not going to do anything else to it. Now, there's going to be no sanding, no waxes, no oils tonight. I'm just going to have a raw, finished bowl. So my final cup will try to be my best. That'll be done then. Then I'll come to the outside. I'll put a light in and shine through. I will change to a different camera then. And you work down an inch at a time. So get the top inch, as thin as I can, then the next inch, then the next inch, then the next inch, down to the bottom of the bowl. And we'll see how we go from there. A few weeks ago, if you remember, I did one of those thin walled goblets. This is exactly the same principle. This is the cup of the goblet, just bigger, okay? Everyone happy? Oh, so, uh, oh, so you've already had a practice then, is what you're telling us. All right, okay. Mm. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Robert Tom Lashley has joined, has joined us. Who's that, Terry? Sorry. John Foster. Hi, John Foster. Evening, John. And uh, Robert Lapsley is in as well. It's going to get rid of this time. Mike Waltz just joined. Oh, dear. No pressure, Mark. No pressure. Oh, Mike. No pressure, no. Mike, Mike Waltz in one corner. Wayne Wood Turner in the other corner. <laughs> <laughs> And, and uh, Mark is stuck in the middle with you. Now the cuts on this probably won't be that good. Because being a ten grain, I should be going the other way. Mike, I don't know if you know, but uh, there's a challenge out now. The thin bowl. Try and, thin try and beat Wayne. Wayne had 0.8 of a millimetre. Wonder if you'd like to take the challenge up as well, Mike. Is Mark's attempt, and he thinks it might blow up. Ah, oh, there's every chance, yeah. especially the way, especially the way everything's going tonight. The camera's nearly blew up, so yeah. I don't know uh, why uh, Peter's. Uh, I, I have no idea why Peter's chat is on the screen there. There must be a way of removing that. <laughs> no idea. Don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, I didn't put it there. <laughs> Not no, guilty, you know. <laughs> How'd you get rid of that? <laughs> Music question might be easier. Who said it? Peter Coker. We're trying to find out Pete Twisted Trees, how Peter Coker got there. There you go. Oh, there, there you go. go. Sorry. It's because I've got the mouse on the lathe. All right, okay. <laughs> the vibrations did it then. <laughs> the... It's all right. Uh, there, now, he's, now he's blaming the mice, guys. <laughs> yeah, mice just he's put in there that uh, he's, he's managed minus millimetres. <laughs> I think we call that a side funnel, Mike, do we not? Good dudes joined. Evening. Hi, Stephen. Doug Miller's in. Hey, Ruby, yeah. Ruby, seen, yeah. hey, Ruby, Ruby just said she's not seen the piercing on the thin ball. I've only just started, at Ruby. I showed uh, Mark at lunchtime um, that it has been started, um, but it's going to take a while. We're talking about new uh, participants here. William Rose Create. Uh, Shop Dog Work. Uh, Shop Dog Workshop is uh, that's in. Mark. Uh, Mark. Yeah, that's Amy Mark. 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 William. The Wood Dude is in. We've now got 93 watching, Mark. That's Stephen. And, and, you, and, and you've been going 17 months. Cool. Thank you, everybody, for coming along. For those of you that uh, joined late, I do apologise, but my broadcast software stopped working, so I'm having to do all the camera changes manually. I, I did tell him to put another log in the fire to generate more steam, but he kind of neglected to say so. He said it was too warm. That's why he's wearing shorts today. Yes, yeah, I don't know if so, you can see the shorts. So be careful you don't... Oh, jeez, put no. them away. Seem, oh, seem better oh, legs hanging out of a nest. I've been told there's nothing wrong with my legs. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's lying. Then. Somebody's lying. Sit, sit yeah. the man with the white stick. Yeah, and, 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 and the Labrador and, dog. And the dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was nearly as much glare off them legs as off his head. <laughs> I, I only nearly. <laughs> Duncan says he's blinded by the light. Yeah. Mark's legs are the reason that people in England get called whiteys from blighty. <laughs> Peter said he's KFC one the back. Right. 
You, you, you know, actually, all that's missing there, yeah, just to be the, the classic Englishman on holiday, is the knotted handkerchief <laughs> on his head. No, no, no. He, he's got he's got crooks on. His, he should he should have he should have socks and sandals. Yeah, white socks. But, oh, yeah, I forgot socks and sandals. Yeah. <laughs> Mike's got happy to go with us. Uh, have a great evening, all. <laughs> See you, Mark. He sees, he sees my legs and then scarpers. He's Mike. off, yeah. Hi, Mike. Yes, yeah. He's away for a therapy I've, session. I've often said uh, Mike's got sense. <laughs> uh, Woodward and Paul is asking you a question, Mark. Will you be able to catch the pip every time when you get your new glasses on Tuesday? Well, I've caught it three times and nobody's noticed. The answer to that, the, the answer to that, Paul, is no. <laughs> Glenn would like to know, does and it make Glenn is asking pole, pole when you are wearing shorts, Mark? Gosh, what, sorry? What? Does it make it easier to hold the pole when you're wearing shorts? <laughs> Thank you, Glenn. It, it burns the legs a wee bit, Glenn, I have to say. <laughs> bit of friction, yeah. Speaking from experience, Brian. Hi, Mike. Michael Strafford. Yeah, absolutely. Doing... Yeah, I've had a goat pole dancing. Yeah, I'm not going to be shy and say I didn't. Didn't do very well. It's a bit like karaoke, you know. You have to have a try at these things. Never done that either. No, no. I, won't be, I won't be pole dancing. <laughs> I, I, I've done karaoke a few times. Bars Badly, of real course. Things in. Evening bars. We're just trying to entertain you a bit because uh, end grain hollowing is not that exciting. So we're waiting for the exciting bit when we start to thin this bowl down a bit. Jay is returning us in. Right, so I'm just going to... It's been a few minutes, so I'm just going to stop. Yeah, Does so. that pit go all the way through there, Mark? Tap on there. Yeah. Yeah. Comes out just on the base. Okay, right. that's going to be fun. Okay. <laughs> no, Bernie, no Bernie Bernie tonight. We work with what we've got with. <laughs> work with, work, work with, ah, oh, whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> Easy for you to say. No. <laughs> Mark, question, question, from Ruby Claire. Would it be easier... Uh, to use a long tool rest and put it in the bowl. It might be. <laughs> the Yorkshire Grit has put in a comment, Mark, what on earth possessed you to turn the end green? Well, I'm glad you said that, Glenn. I was advised by somebody who's a very good friend of mine why don't you turn an end grain bowl? Mm -hmm. Let me just think who that was for a second. <gasps> there wasn't right. me. It was Glenn. Yeah. <laughs> well, Michelle, Ousby's in. Or is it Ousby? Uh, that would be Ousby. Uh, Any more of your cheek, Terry. <laughs> Good evening, Michelle. I'm going to start calling you Terry uh, Donkey Noise. That's all right. I'm <laughs> happy with that. Yeah. That's what they call a donkey, right? He's a bray. Well, you've got donkeys, haven't you? No, I it have. My next door neighbor has, though. Just there. Yeah. Just the tension the builds. Right. Oh, this is nothing. Wait for about five minutes from now. I'm trying to build it up for you. I'm trying to build it up for you. Tim Prestige is in. Hi, Kim. Hello, Kim. Hello, Kim. It's, it's, uh, and the comment there is, cross aren't sexy, LOL. <gasps> That's a new name, Mark. I've seen Kim in before. Yeah, she's new to the channel. Hi, Kim. Thanks, Pete. Very welcome, cheers, too. Yes, indeed, yeah. 
You're all very welcome. Everybody oh, is very oh. welcome. So, so uh, Kevin, just said, Kevin just said, oops, Crocs. <laughs> uh, don't worry about in public or anywhere I'm in the workshop. He's got right. a pretty white socks on with him. Right. This ball's going to win no awards for uh, finish. Yeah. But I will just change to a sharpened gouge. And I'll try and do a nice final finish down the inside. Pick a speed up a bit. That's just about a thousand now. <laughs> so Pete from Twisted Trees hasn't tried to drop me in at any by saying, shh, don't mention the new tools, Brian. Hmm. Yeah, that new we gouge might have been ordered for you. Something hasn't like arrived yet. Has it not? Oh, dear. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Katie's got to go. Bye, Katie. See you later. Katie from Cornish, mate. Mm. Night, night, Katie. Bye, Katie. Hope your arm feels better soon. She's not too well tonight. She's had her first jab in her arm. Right. giving her a stick. Oh, bless. The good news is, if the first one made you hurt, the second one probably won't. Right. You maybe so drop your the... mic, Mark, you maybe just drop your mic a fraction. That's the inside. Better, mate. That's as good as that's going to get. So... Now I've got to try and find the other camera. Bear with me a second, folks. Find the mouse. mouse. Would be tonight if my software goes, wouldn't it? Of course, yeah. Right, so, video camera. There you go. Hopefully. Let's get this light sorted out. Eric Winkler's joined. Evening, Eric. Evening, Eric. Oh. I wonder if there's a one millimeter or half a millimeter color. Oh, see what I've done there? There probably is. Hmm. Talk about having a mare. We're having a nightmare, a tropical nightmare. Right. And it hasn't even started turning outside yet. <laughs> yeah. Now comes the bit where I'm going to put my face mask on. Mm -hmm. I didn't need <coughs> inside. Light the blue touch paper and stand back. Yeah. If it's going to go wrong, folks, it's going to go wrong now. Ben Jamin says, slow down, Mark. It's only 8.30. You've only been going for 27 minutes, so we've got lots of time. Take your time. I am now, yeah. Deep right. breath. Spindle couch. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Mark, I wonder if it would be worth uh, wetting the bowl before you... Uh... Oh, God, it's probably drying out a bit. Maybe a bit rag on it, just to keep it uh, moist. There we go. Andy H for Turning have just said, Wood Art sell a probe light that fits into the tailstock and illuminates the bowl from the inside. Hmm. Thank you, Andy, for that information. Put it to rest, right? You are Steve. shielding the picture slightly, Mark, just to let you know. I don't know whether you can get an angle where you your body doesn't shield the, the view. Better. 
and Steve Fleming says, good luck, Mark. Stuart's just come in. Even Stuart. Even Stuart. Hmm. That's funny. Michelle has just come on the chat and says, You don't edit, right? I think she means need it. Yes, I do. <laughs> So Benjamin says, does it count if you get to about two mil and then spend ages sanding with 80 grit? Uh, the answer to that is no, Ben, it doesn't. It has to be done off the tool. Chris Glamble has just joined us. Evening, Mark. Sorry I'm late in, he says. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. So Lionel has said he's uh, he's done the same technique for for his flowers. Uh, and he already sharpens with her, has, has to make an effective cut. So I think Mark actually sharpened this uh, spindle gauge just before he started this cut. <laughs> Steve, Steve Ash has said uh, how about a 20 grit brick does that count as a tool if it's got a handle <laughs> yeah breeze blocks are better breeze blocks are better because they're rougher oops Douglas is asking me, is this how the Japanese do thin turnings? Uh, yes. The spe the, the, especially the, the guy that does the like the, the flower goblety uh, thin stem type things, he certainly does the finishing cut from the outside. Glyn is asking, and I know you're concentrating, Mark, but Glyn is asking, yeah. is your bevel rubbing? Yes, just underneath the tip. And we're, we, just before, just while you're stopped there, Mark, you're, yeah. you're, you are obscuring the camera just a little bit. When you come towards the end of your cut, you're, you're blocking the screen. I wonder, could, would an overhead shot be better, maybe? I, I'm not 100% sure. I want to get it to, see, to, so, to show us the light, you said, didn't he? I know, I. Yeah. There you go. Press that. That's okay. We'll give that a try for the next couple of cuts and see how that goes, yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. You're okay, Lionel. Lionel says he's sorry he didn't see it because I use a 30, 30 degree bevel. And not the same, so it's not the same angle of cut for me. Yeah, that's a very um, detailed type of bevel. Mm. Is indeed. Is that another bevel that um, Les Thorne puts on his detailed gauge? Or detailed spindle gauge? Yeah, probably. Uh, I'm not too sure to tell you the truth. Lewis, the contact. Uh, he might mention. Joined. He might mention that tomorrow night. Yep. He's saying it's time to get the skew out. <laughs> I was thinking of doing that, actually. I thought I might try that with a skew chisel, see what happens. And again, I might not. Good evening, Lewis. I 
that sort of measurement we got there before you get too far down, Mark. Hold on. Thickness. Say quarter of a mil, that'd be good. That's one mil. One mil. Look at her. That's pretty thin, mine. That's pretty thin. That's pretty thin. <laughs> sense there is uh, much holding of breath. <laughs> oh, there's definitely that. That's just for me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not talking much, folks, but... Neither are we, Mark. Carry on. Concentrate. We're concentrating. No, we're all, we're all concentrating. <laughs> well, Lewis, is, Lewis has just put in the chat there, some of these lives have been riveting lately. They are indeed. It's kind of fun challenge, guys. Always nice to have a challenge. Steve, and Steve Ellis says, uh, dump it down again, maybe. Yeah. A guy. So Doug, you there. Yeah, so that Douglas is asking, is it better to go fast doing this? Now, Mark and I spoke about this at lunchtime. And there was something the... the um, the diameter he's got there, I would say the thinner you get and the faster you go, you're going to get more flex at the outside. Mm. More, yes, more flex at the ramp, isn't it? Yeah, Ruby's just said a spray bottle would help, Mark. Yeah. Turn that one. Oh, always a handy thing to have in the workshop. I would ask the question uh, there from uh, in reply to Ruby. A spray bottle would help. Would it be um, is it better to spray on the outside of the bowl or on the inside? At that thickness, it probably doesn't matter, does it? It's going to go right through. Yeah. The thing is, uh, and I'm not being facetious here or anything, but if you do spray it on the inside, with the speed that's marks going, it's probably going to penetrate the wood with centrifugal force. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It might be, and it wouldn't, <coughs> if you spread on the outside, it's not, not going to throw it off just the same. So if you Buster spread it on West the inside. In. He's wondering why he's getting <coughs> lightheaded. Breathe, Buster, yes. <laughs> John McDonald's is so nervous for you, he's had to tell his kids to settle down. <laughs> <laughs> It's really, to tell you the truth, it is really annoying. I don't know if Mark's finding this, but it's really annoying using a light because it tends to be shining right where you're looking. Yeah. I'm trying to just get the light right where I want it. 
for doing some good so it doesn't glare out. Terry Bartlett, Terry Bartlett's made a comment there. He said, speed and the feather like touch. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Trying. And Anthony Moyle it's, has uh, said, it's quite, quite difficult to do when you're as half handed as I am. Uh, yeah, wait till I try it. <laughs> and Anthony Moyle says he's on the edge of his seat. And Ruby Claire clarified her point there. She says, both would be good, Brian. So inside and out. <laughs> We're going to the other end of the garage just to make sure I keep it sharp. Yeah, razor sharp. Yeah, Andy H has just said that. Uh, yeah, Andy H. Go ahead. Go on, Luke. Brian. Go on. Uh, Andy H has just said, yeah, uh, yes, we're nuts where the tiny wood art light helps. That's a real steady hand there, Mark. Good. Good cut, mate. <laughs> and Peter Corcoran has just said, I've smoked 15 <laughs> ciggies in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I've got to give up point. smoking. <laughs> Ben's, got a, Ben's got a good point. Ben says, I dipped the bowl in the bucket of Starbond. <laughs> Oof. Wait. Yeah, wrong, wrong day to give a cocaine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Well, Steve, uh, Steve Ellis is throwing some controversy into the into the proceedings. Uh, this one's a different shape to Wayne's eight point eight of a mil bowl. This one has curved sides. Wayne's was straight. No. Rob controversy. CP. Rob CP's in. Hi, Rob. Even Rob haven't seen you for a while, about. Practicing thin walled bows without yeah. swearing, without swearing. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually the hardest part. If I had to catch me, oh no, that's a good shot. I, I like that shot. That's a brilliant uh, yeah, shot. That's indeed, Wayne. You didn't tell us you have a, you have a shoulder cam. <laughs> Now, this magnification, that looks like a very big cut. <coughs> oh, shit. I don't think I would dare try and share. I don't think I would dare try a shear scrape there. I can't because the track not in the <laughs> Ben's just said somebody should drive over to Marks to wipe the sweat off his brow. Now we need the sweat uh, uh, Lionel, on the so it keeps it moist. Yeah, Lionel, uh, Mark is using a piece of apple. And Ruby Claire's coming, commenting on your nice bevel, Mark. Okay. Buster West says, part of me is saying, I must try this. Sensible part says, oh my God, why? Because <laughs> it's a challenge, Buster. That's exactly what I thought. Yeah, and Buster. the thing is, the, the thing is as well, once you've actually finished something this thin, they're very easy to do piercing on. Mm. That's true. And it's a good course. satisfaction index. I am just going really to change, change the camera a little bit. Okay, mate. So I do have to just... Yeah, work away, Mark. You're fine. You do what you got to do. We watch. Well, Ben Jamman is asking Ruby, how far, how thin have you gone, oh, great master Ruby? Don't say I would that. Say that I would say that's a dangerous question to ask somebody like Ruby. 
because it's probably yeah. bastard thing. <laughs> kind of waiting for the answer here with bated breath almost. Yeah, Glenn says it's a very thin piece of apple, laughing out loud. And I'm thinking, yeah, you won't get fat on that, that's for sure. It's almost like the skin of the apple. I've seen thicker apple skin. <laughs> Ah, stupid light. Oh. Whose idea was yes, this? Yes, they're annoying. You're they're right. absolutely <laughs> annoying. I'm sure, lad. It's your fault. Right. Buster West says, I'm nearly 70. I'm getting the piercings. Blood pressure is high. Just watching Mark. Is that tool need a sharpen mark? I don't know how long you've used that. Uh, then not this one. Okay. <coughs> Adam from Isle of Wood is in. Good evening, Adam. Evening, Adam. So, Lewis has said, is the light hot? Could that be smoke coming off that bowl? Could be drying it out. Just going to give it a sharpen. Okay. And wet that bowl down again. Wet the bowl again, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, Lewis, my, my uh, primer is going to be stress-free, completely stress-free. See, see this, this uh, cover over the bowl now, guys, is part of the magic trick. <laughs> Yeah. Mark's glamorous assistant will come in a minute and remove the cover and I don't know what's going to be under me. Yeah, Mark did take a measurement uh, earlier on um, up at the rim and it was just on one mil, so. He's trying to get it thinner because Wayne's turned 1.8 of a mil and the challenge is to turn a thinnest bowl. So Ruby has commented there, I've gone quite thin, no, it's never given us the size though, uh, and pierced it. To do apple this thin is a major accomplishment, because apple cracks while you watch it. Close your eyes, Mark. Don't watch it. Yeah. So, someone has given us heavy breathing on the microphone. So. That's Wayne. No, it's not. No, it's <laughs> I think it's probably Mark. <laughs> it's probably Mark, yeah. <laughs> oh, it can't be me. He's not breathing. <laughs> it's the ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> Rob CP's back, obviously. He says, I don't mean to brag, but I did a goblet with a captive ring that was less than one millimetre. What, the ring was? Yeah, that's so last year, though. Yeah, that was that tall. Year, Rob. Come that on. was tall. You probably won't laugh. That was, yeah. He didn't didn't happen to say it was ten mil thick, but only one millimeter tall. <laughs> That's coming down as an odd. That's ninety point two of a mil gone there. Yeah, look at that there. With a good steady hand mark. Oh, when you start shaking now. <laughs> Sorry, I just a massive crisis of confidence then. Just step back. <laughs> That's the right thing to do, Phil Mark. Step back, yeah, recollect your thoughts, it. stop shaking, <laughs> start again. Breathe. 
I would love to ask that question now, Ben, but I'll just wait till he finishes this cut. So, so Ben has asked you, Mark. Mark, is it squidgy? Don't try it now. Uh, Don't try uh, it yet. And I'm hoping he's referring to the bull. It is indeed, yeah. Yeah. Going from orange to yellow there. He's, he's coming down. There's a fly in my workshop and I don't want to swat it in case I disturb that bull. Clive Williams, then he says, he says that for someone like me who's happy to get a bull with a thickness of half an inch, this is pure witchcraft. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm in this challenge, Clive, and I concur with your statement. <laughs> Bear with me. Ruby the, thin one said, the, the thin one I turn, turned last week is totally oval now. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, just uh, yeah. his own thing. Uh, Ruby Claire has just said that's excellent tool control, Mark. I agree, totally. Hmm. Andy Best is beautiful thing to watch. You get a lot of support from the from the chat, Mark. Just take Thanks, your time. Guys. Take your time. Breathe. <laughs> Occasionally, just if you feel like yeah, it. That's <laughs> and you've you've a hundred watching, Mark. No pressure. See that cut changing colour. Amazing. Kim says he's looking good. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Lewis has just says, Ooh, that's a deep cut. <laughs> Probably be two stone lighter after this, Mark. <laughs> uh, Ruby says, uh, word of warning, Mark, be careful uh, on the bottom corner as the colour can be deceiving because of the end grain. Good point, Ruby. Good point. Thank so you Buster West is... I was waiting for somebody to... Are you Wayne Williams? <laughs> <laughs> hey? I, I said I knew you wouldn't. It's like, yeah, just go a bit deeper there. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm just sitting here enthralled. Yeah, me too. I'm just kind of, kind of glued to the screen here, to be honest. Brilliant. Oh, no, there's two flies in my workshop now. I'm going to be quiet. So why did we chase just us, Mark? Yeah, come. He says, are you going to turn the foot off? <laughs> no, I'm leaving the foot as a pedestal. That, that's going to be a pedestal. So why are you going yep. 
just check the position of your microphone there again, Mark, will you? Again, I can't. That's because I've got, because I've got the, uh, it's the face shield. Oh, you've got the face shield on, sorry, mate. Jennifer's yeah, got a... says she can't take her eyes off the TV. I'm not taking a chance with my, uh, my good looks with this ball. No. <laughs> Put your mask on. Oi. Well, you can take the mask off then, there's no reason that's good. Oi. Yeah, that, that's never going to happen. Gary Bartlett's just said you've got the Myra Turner with good tool control. I I agree. <laughs> and Lewis the Lewis has said, just said he's chewed the end off the microphone. I don't know how he's chewing the microphone with his teeth cred. <laughs> I've been messing about now, I'm going to go really thin. <laughs> wet, wet the bowl, wet the bowl. Wet it first, wet it first. James Calvin has just said, Mark, when it's just white colour, you know you've taken too much off. <laughs> yeah, no. When you see the filaments in the bowls. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Dial, fantastic control, Mark. I think my legs are falling asleep sitting on the <laughs> throne watching. <laughs> That's a <shame. laughs> There's a picture I didn't need my head. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. Klondike Craftsman says, how about a test measure again? The inquiry uh, minds need to know. Uh, it's not yet. Not yet. Oh, no, not yet. Look, he's yet. teasing us, guys. He's teasing now. I think I'll just withdraw Grishy from this challenge now, defeated. And Glenn has just said, when you can read Osram th through the bowl, it's done enough. Mark, uh, David Heath have just said, great, great tool control and even better bowel control. <laughs> Thank you.
Now, Ruby Claire has said, it's been enough, Mark. You've proved you can do it. We're very proud of you. And Ben Jammond has <laughs> said, shh, Ruby. Shush, Ruby. <laughs> right. <clears throat> the thing you have got to consider here, Mark, seeing as how you yeah. are getting quite thin, is how smooth the cut you got on the inside because you might not have a totally smooth finish on the inside. Okay, fair point. <laughs> Buster West has just said, why when you're scaled, do you have to cover your eyes with your hands but peer through the cracks? No cracks in this. That's learned behaviour from your parent, from from your parents watching Hammer horror movies, <laughs> <laughs> or or Doctor Who from behind the sofa. <laughs> Anthony Moyle says it surely has time to measure. <laughs> Everybody in the chat's getting rather nervous, Mark, and there's 101 people watching. It was 102 seconds ago. Somebody, somebody's obviously fainted. Oh, jumped up now. to 104 now. <laughs> it's not, it's not uh, very near as you need it. It's a, it's a micrometer. Glad I'll send you one. And Andy Best has just said, now I've stopped breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Survey said. Survey says. Got a bit more to take. Oh, I know. What are you I'm after? after you. I'm after you, Claspo. <laughs> He's after Hey, I don't care. No, I'm, I'm, sitting, I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here quite, quite calm with a fag in my hand and a glass of wine. I don't care. He's already in the clubhouse. He's already in the clubhouse, Mark. Fine. We're level. Oh, oh point eight. eight. No. If you go too far, it's Brian's going yeah, to do just, it. Yeah. Nah, here. Yeah. No pressure there, guys. Stop it. We've got Eff Effie Smith has just come in. Good evening, Effie. Hi, Effie. Hello, Effie. Welcome. Camera's gone out of focus, Mark. Hey. Now it's coming back. Nothing, it's it's come back. Your camera went out of focus, but came back. You can't be squeezing that hard, Michelle, I'm afraid. If you squeeze that hard, it'll pop. <laughs> Buster West has said, oh, come on. <laughs> Enough already. <laughs> Mike Doyle thinks it looks like a red planet spinning with a light behind. Does indeed. Not like Saturn. Right, I know, yeah, you know, technically it's a bit of cheating because I'm share scraping, but. Yeah, you're turning it, Mark. Oh, yeah. How are you doing it? Uh, my, my, uh, yeah. It. Well, actually, it's great, mine. Yeah, that's the way to go. So Lionel says, when the piece is crying, it's time to stop. Only when the turner is crying, that's when you stop. Steve Fleming says, Wayne. Did you sand yours the other day? Yeah, I sanded mine. I sanded and finished mine. So Robert Lapsey says he's trending on Twitter. Hashtag he's going thinner. Did I mention earlier, guys, that Mark has 968 subscribers? So if anybody's not subscribed, he would appreciate a subscription. <laughs> no. 
Peter and Twisted Trees put a thing in the um, wood turning for beginners group. I think it was yesterday about the challenge for June, which is a, a little coin bowl around about or less than five inches diameter. So that's what I'm going to be doing on Friday lunchtime on my live. Oh, Sorry, what did you say? A coin bowl? Yeah. I didn't hear what you said. Yeah, a coin bowl. You know, a, ch a change bowl. Yeah. I got I it. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Yeah, so so I'm going to do two. I'm going to do one in side green and one in end green on Friday lunchtime. So Ben Jammer has uh, made a point here. He says, "Is there a point where it stops? Uh, it stops thin. It stops being thin and starts being stupid." <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, no the, is is there a point where? Basically, what he's asking is, is there a yeah. point where it gets that thin, just the spinning on the lid is going to blow it up? Yeah. Yeah. Centrifugal force, Mike. You might have to slow you it down. Did you rub it apart? Yeah. Ruby Claire says, wet it some more. Ruby says, I do. Good. Same with Wayne. If Wayne Always says good it, advice. If Wayne Fury's says do turn. something, do it. If yep. Ruby says do something, just do it. So Jury's wood turn is in. Um, evening, everyone. Hello, Jury. And, uh, if his Smith has said, don't forget your thumbs up, everyone. Jay's Cabin said, when you put a finish on, you double the ball thickness. <laughs> yeah. That's right, it will be. That's for sure. And Jamin said, if Glenn says do something, get a second opinion. <laughs> oh, I've got to give credit, credit to Glenn. He told me to do it this way. Told you or advised you? Advised. Well, it's one and the same, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking six of one, half a dozen the other. Hmm. So, Pete from Pete Twisted Trees says, says yeah, go, from, go ahead, from experience, there is a point where it deforms through spinning and impacts the tool rest. That is an exciting moment. Stop and have a look at that thing. Mm. It's looking good, buddy. Good, good plan, Mark. Good plan. Looking good. <laughs> I if we can see this. Yeah, uh, we yeah, can we can see it, Flexing. Yeah, we can see it. And you are holding a bed. Don't flash it too much. It'll crack. Bit of sand in on it now. Probably about point seven. So Stuart, Stuart has said on paper this demo would sound as dull as dishwater, but in reality, it's absolutely mesmerizing. Is. Thank you, everyone. It is awesome, Mark. As Rob CP has just said, awesome work, Mark. It's a word overused by Americans usually, but in this case, it's up. Drury, what is spinning at the moment is uh, a piece of apple wood. So if you feel a the need, a nice bit of... So, uh, Mark is now supporting the outside with a piece of cloth and sanding the inside. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, or, that's, or that's what it looks like anyway. <laughs> yeah, it is. You can maybe zoom out a wee bit, Mark, there, just a little bit, if you're zoom out. finished cutting. Zoom just out, zoom yeah. out a little bit, just, yeah, that, that'll do, that'll do. There we go, just so as we can see a bit better. Thanks, man. Uh, Ruby yeah, Claire says, yeah, it I'll, out. I'll, 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 I will indeed. So, uh, guys, if you've uh, enjoyed what you've seen this evening, don't forget uh, to support Mark by uh, clicking the link at the top of the chat 
to buy the man a coffee. I think he deserves a coffee after this. In fact, he probably <laughs> deserves a beer or three. <laughs> he, might, he might need a beer or three. <laughs> but he would appreciate it if you would support his channel and uh, buy him a coffee. John McDonough wants to know, is it Applewood or Onion Skin? Yeah, well, it's, it's definitely Applewood, but it kind of has the look of an onion skin just at the minute. In fact, I might have seen onion skin thicker than that. <laughs> the usher getter says, Winning by the smallest possible margin is the best way. Mm -hmm. What you've got to remember, though, Brian, you and Terry uh -huh. still got to do this. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I, yeah. I, I'm just about to withdraw gracefully, though. No more. <laughs> My computer's going to pack up. Glenn said uh -huh. there isn't a buy a coffee at the top. Well, there is on my um, chat, Glenn. Oh, that, uh, it's highlighted, it it's highlighted in blue. It is absolutely there. Right there, it is pinned to the top of the oh, chat. Uh, Glenn's probably on his pad or his phone or something. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah, yeah, probably, yeah. What I am doing, folks, is just at the top, right at the very, and through the inside there, just supporting it with a paper towel, just to try and minimise the flex, because I've been a bit stupid and I've gone a bit thin. You've gone a bit thin? You've gone a bit thin? That's an understatement. <laughs> Make sure you don't sand through the bowl. Don't forget, it will be yeah, exactly. drying out while you're sanding, Mark. You remember the other day when you uh, said to me that I have enough grit, to, to, that I have enough uh, thickness to grit it for three minutes? No. <laughs> don't be gritting it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Judy's Judy Woodcomb just said. <laughs> Judy's Woodcomb just said you could hold sandpaper on both sides. It would save time. Right, Glenn. If that isn't pinned, if that isn't pinned for you at the top of the chat, Glenn, go into the description of the video. There is a link in the description of the video to Mark's Buy Me a Coffee page. <laughs> you know you've gone ben too far, Jammer's. Mark, when there's two pieces of paper touch. Yeah. And Ben Jammer said, if you microwave it, you'll lose it at another 0.2 of a mil. <laughs> but don't do it when somebody's looking. So Pete says the, the link at the top of the chat is working because he's just used it. Thank you very much. Thank, uh, thank you, Pete. And Ruby has just sent you three coffees, Mark. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. I've stopped putting Thank you ever so much. Thank you to everybody who supports the channel. It's really appreciated. So there, Pete from Twisted Trees has popped that link in. Thank you, uh, Pete. If anybody hasn't, can't find it, there it is. Right. That's... Uh, shall we have a little look and see what the light shows us? <laughs> shall we? <laughs> Dave Oatley says the sandpaper is thicker than the bowl. <laughs> and the Yorkshire Grit has said, Stop, Mark! <laughs> what do you reckon, folks? You couldn't paint that design, could you? I think that's amazing, Mark. That's Fabulous. Fairly, that's fairly consistent right the way around. Yeah. Even colour. Yeah. Yeah. don't know if you can see. Is that, is that the pith mark we right can there. see just there? Yeah. Just there. Yeah. Yep. Gee, it was. So that's flexing. Uh, 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 not too much. Yeah. <laughs> break you it now. Nearly. Don't break it now. Do, do you just want to give it a couple of just just what? Final, final sands? Another so, half a million. I thought you were going to pick up the bowl, get out of the spindle gauge again there. Tom I'm going to fly Parker over and take it out of your hand. Hello, Tom. Hi, Tom. 
And as Linelli has said, outstanding, Mark. Dave Oakley, fantastic, Mark. Hearts off to you. I'm finished, yep. <laughs> Robert loves to say, remember, Mark. <laughs> this is not the same as sex. There's no need for an explosive ending. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pete, Pete Twisted Tree uh, suggests yeah. that you now funnel it so you can use it as a lampshade. No, that, that's the second part of the challenge. He's going to send it to Steve now. <laughs> to allow him to put the funnel in the bottom. You're over one of the soft bits, Mark. <laughs> Drury's wood turn has said it's good, but you should try a thin ball now. <laughs> <laughs> There's always one. <laughs> Richard, Richard from RJK Spinning Wood says Is there a rule as how hard you can squeeze the calipers? It's coming off. He's done it. He's finished, guys. And Mark, that was 76 minutes. What a challenge you've. Uh, Let me just change done. camera before I, I have to tell you, guys. Time. 76 minutes that just flew by. And if everybody doesn't realise, that's what adrenaline smells like. <laughs> right. Look at that. That's a beautiful thing. Obviously, no finish. No. But that one part of the challenge. Make it that is. Ultra fun. And at the rim, it's point 0.5. Oh, yeah. yeah. Half a mouth. Hey, at Brian, you've got to do it point 0.2 now. Point five. Yes. Yeah, thanks, Mark. <laughs> that ten. That's all I can say. Thanks, Mark. So, while well, Mark has been basking in the glory of getting a point five mil uh, ton, <laughs> I've just stuck in. I just, <laughs> I just stuck in two two links for uh, my premiere and uh, Lewis's premiere, which follow after this. And it will flex. <laughs> I wouldn't use it as a cereal bull mark. The, the milk will go right through it. Yeah, hold on. It, it'll be all right when you put some sanding cedar on it. It'll be grand. Oh, double the thickness, wouldn't it? <laughs> a stunning piece of work, Mark. Yeah, that's, uh, that's even. Stunning, buddy. Fabulous. Great job. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. I'll bring me a worm's back. Um, oh no! <laughs> Where's my camera? <laughs> <laughs> well, wait a minute, I need a light on. There we go. Oh, Thank turn it everyone. off, Brian. Turn it off. <laughs> oh, Thank my, you, everyone. Popular. Just a bit of fun. Um, so, these two guys and anybody else in the chat who wants to have a go with this, that's one way of doing it. Wayne's is another way. Um, I think if I was going to do it again, I'd do it Wayne's way. Because that, that's, that's nerve-wracking. That really is. <laughs> when um, you get down to that thickness, it's nerve-wracking, regardless of which way you do it. Yeah, regardless, I would think, yeah. It's, it's not perfect. It's a bit, a bit wavy at the top edge here. Um, but it is 0.5. So, that was, uh, the, the idea of the challenge was it was just to turn the ball as thin as you could turn it. Just a thin rim, yeah. Yep. Um, so, the hashtags at the head of this video. Anybody wants to have a go, put the hashtag in. Either do it as a live or do it as a pre recorded video. Doesn't matter. Just have a go. It's a bit of fun. Nothing serious. No prizes. Say, say, says he, sweat dripping off his brow. <laughs> shattered. I'm actually shattered. Uh, uh, good job, Mark. Well done, mate. Excellent. Yeah, thank you ever so much, everybody. Thank you to my earworms, Terry from TJ Turning, Wayne, the wood turner, who I've got to say 
and I'm not blowing smoke up his ass because he knows I don't do that. But I wouldn't be able to turn stuff like this. One for that man. Because he's helped me a hell of a lot. And I do appreciate him. And so should we all. Because he helps Thank me. Thank you, Mark. It's all right, Wayne. And yeah. Reed, Ryan from Artwood Turning as well. Thank you as well. Thank you for guys for coming along. Sorry about the camera work tonight. I'll sure is fine. Sorted. Get it sorted. Perfect, get it done yeah. for next week. Uh, coming up, Ryan's premiere. Straight off that, Lewis's premiere. And then tomorrow is Andy H returning, I believe. Tomorrow night will be Rich, Beard 16, hopefully. Uh, Wednesday. Well, I don't know. No, if, you're Wood Turn, if you're in Wood Turn, if you're in Wood Turn, if you're in Wood Turn, and 360, Les doing the demo tomorrow night. Oh, that's true. Right, uh, 360 tomorrow night, Les Thorn. Um Wednesday night be Wayne. Uh, what were you doing this Wednesday night? You said at lunchtime, didn't you? <coughs> I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a coloured, coloured ring ball um, as a giveaway. Uh, seeing as how I hit the thousand followers on Insta. Brilliant. There you go. So there's a giveaway live Wednesday night for Wayne Wood Turner. Very Thursday good. lunchtime is going to be Terry this week, not Brian. Brian's busy doing some groundwork, so he's decided that driving a dumper truck is more fun than he's doing a lot. Not really. Yeah. He's practicing yeah, turning thin bowls for a week. Really? <laughs> and uh, Thursday night, don't know who's on, might be Keith or Scott. Friday lunchtime, back to Wayne, and then we're back into the weekend. That's it for me. I'm going upstairs to pass out. Thank you very much for coming along. Thank you for all the coffees you've bought me, and thank you so much for the continued support for me and the channel, going from strength to strength. Soon be at 1,000. There will be a giveaway, big giveaway, when I hit 1,000. Thank you. That's it for me. Bye-bye. Hello, Mark. Good night. Thanks for coming Excellent. along.